it's half past nine, as you can tell, I've just got up. I'm having the laziest morning ever this morning. I'm not rushing around. I've been up about half an hour. And I am just gonna have a lazy, lazy morning. So, I'm making a coffee. The cats have all been fed. The dog's been fed, the dog's been out. And the cats are just wandering around. And yeah. I'm not going to do very much this morning. So it may be very quiet on the vlog, but I'm just going to be lazy. There you go. Did somebody walk behind me then? Sure, I heard someone. You can see uh, Jack. I don't know what he's doing. In fact, Jack woke me up. We don't let the cats in the bedroom. Um, but this morning I woke up to Jack sitting on my chest with his nose right there. I think the dog must have let him in the um, bedroom. I think they've got like a little a little team thing going on where the dog pushes the door and the cat jumps on the handle to open it. So Jack woke me up this morning. But yeah. So coffee time, which I am just making now. Water's ready to go in. No particular plans for today. We're not going anywhere. Um Got it. So there's no particular plans for today other than relax. <laughs> Look, Polly's at the window. I hope Stewie's going. But he does. Jake got home yesterday okay. Um, he was actually home when I got home from school. He's not here at the moment because he stayed at his girlfriend's last night. But yeah, he got home absolutely fine. Oh, I need to go wake up. Oh, excuse me. And I'll see you in a bit. It's quarter to 12. We just need to nip to Aldi's and get some bits, don't we? So we're just going to do that now. We'll take you along with us. Um, I think we're going to go them our way because Saturdays, trying to get to Geisley is busy. So we're going to go that way, aren't we? Wait, it's in the Norway on Brooklyn. No, the other way. Yeah, but that means there's two more Yeah. So we're going to do that and we'll take you along with us. See you in a bit. Absolutely nothing to say that they've 
push up the road anywhere on here until you get to the end. That road, that road will take you one, one, <coughs> one place. Walk very somewhere. annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah. So, we are heading back. We're going to try and cut in down a different road. If I can remember the way, if I can't, we're going to be stuck. But let's see if I can remember the way. for a minute I didn't recognize the road at all but then we got here we're fine so we're just gonna go to the shopping <laughs> what are you doing come on the start are you fluttering your eyelashes at everybody no it's easy <laughs> I can do it well, it looks like mercy shut up <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're nipping into days if we'll see you in a bit bye, bye. back from Aldi's now and we had some lunch so I'm going to do and sit and do a little bit of knitting. I managed to get all the jobs done this morning, so my relaxing day didn't really pan out. Um, I tried to force myself to have an hour of just doing what I wanted to do. It never works out that way. I always feel guilty when I'm sitting doing something and I think I should be doing something else. But everything's done. There is nothing else to do now for the afternoon. So I'm going to sit and relax. I've got a little bit of... Yarny corner, sorry the dog was licking my arm then and shaking the camera. I've got a little bit of yarny corner stuff to work on which I'm going to do for the next hour or two and then I'm going to switch on to my own knitting. And yeah, it's quite a nice day, the sun's shining, there's one cat waiting to come in, one cat waiting to go out. I'll do that in a minute. I've got my pooch. Oh yeah, there you are Rose, say hello. <laughs> So we're all relaxed for a lovely chilled out Saturday. The sun's really in my eyes as well. It's coming through the window. My project is living in this bag. I got this bag from Crafty Clegg's Creations. Let's put it on there. And I absolutely adore this bag. It's got this gorgeous tassel on which the cats keep trying to take, uh, chase. I have to keep it away from the cats, but it's gorgeous. And my other thing, I've got two projects living in here. Hang on a second. One of them is the All Is Calm socks by K. Jones of the Bakery Bears. This sock is, f oh, hello. <laughs> this sock is for the children's grandma for Christmas. I just need to make the other one. So that's the first one, but she goes away for Christmas anyway. So I don't actually need it for Christmas, but just after. Hello. I thought I'd photo bomb. You thought you'd photo bomb. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite a photo bomber. <clears throat> and yeah, it's a gorgeous pattern. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to sit and work on a bit of knitting. And will you let the cats in, please, darling? Finley's had some crisps and Stewie's stolen one. Stewie's really bad. He eats, for a cat, he eats everything. If you leave like any bread out on the work surface, he eats it and he can crack. You know you get the um, fresh bread from the, from the supermarket and it comes in the cellophane wrapper. He can crack into that and eats the bread out of it. It's so bad. Everything's got to be in a cupboard. So yesterday Stewie was trying to eat a chip that was on the floor. We don't keep chips on the floor. Somebody had obviously no. dropped it during tea. So obviously, <laughs> what happened was, is was probably you were cooking, and then you accidentally dropped it on the floor, and she was just running and swooped him it. 
it. Obviously no, because I got I had some crisps on the floor. He tried eating it. She's not had snuggles this morning. I've been busy. Mm. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit. It's now 20 to 5 and I'm just going to start tea now. I've had a lovely afternoon, just been chilling and relaxing. Finn's got a new game for the Xbox, so he's playing that. He's got FIFA 22, so him and Danny are just all FIFA, FIFA, FIFA at the moment. But I thought I'd show you, because I got it dried yesterday, this morning while I was out, the yarn from yesterday. So this one is log cabin this is on a high twist if i open it out it is all really pale blues and browns there we go. So that, it's not really showing it properly but that is log cabin so that's that one the really gorgeous pale one is this one we also have, this is the zebra one, and I'll open this out to show you, this is a high twist one as well, and this is just greys and whites all the way around. Oops, dropping it. That's that one. So that's that one. Um, somebody has to see the mocker. This is the mocker. And these are all pale pastel type. This all on high twist, these ones. Excuse them talking people in the background. And again, it's just very pale. Like a caramel brown and cream. So that's that one. And the last one is a sock set, a high twist sock set. And we've called this, it reminds me of um, a meadow. So I called it last kick of summer because it really is sort of the last kick of summer now where you can get the summer colourways. But I wanted just one more. So there's a plain, this is a 20 gram. Sorry, a cat just went really running really fast up the street then. Um, that's a 20 gram and 100 grams again, high twist, which is this one. And that matches the flex. Oh, sugar, I can't do that. There we go, matches them little flex that are in it. So they're the first ones that are going into the shop. Hopefully, I'll have some more done by the time I do the shop update. Oops. But that is those, to put those away now. One more thing that I wanted to mention on the podcast, and I completely forgot to mention it was, when we do the update, we've had to up the postage a little bit. Um, we had a couple of parcels go missing in the last update that we had, which obviously, while we're such a small business, did kind of hit us quite hard. Um, so I've normally charged two ninety five for postage, and of course first class it doesn't cover the entire postage because I'm trying to keep it down as much as I can. But I'm going to have to send tract from now on, um, just so next time a parcel goes missing, I've got a little bit more comeback. So the postage is going up to three eighty five. I've still kept it lower than what it actually costs. But I've had to just get a little bit more on the postage just so I can send tract. I think there's just Royal Mail is so busy at the moment. There's so many parcels, especially in the run up to Christmas as well. Maybe after Christmas when things calm down with the postage, I might be able to lower it again. But for now, it's had to go up to 3 95 So I'm really sorry, Guy, but I've just had no choice. Um, but yeah, I try and keep the prices of the yarn as low as I possibly can because... I want to make it as accessible for everybody. There's different bases going in this time. The 75-25 will always be £15. And obviously the the other bases will cost slightly more because they cost more to buy. But I always try and keep it down. So I feel really, really guilty about upping the postage. But I just don't feel like I've got any choice. Um, 
you know, it's just one of those things. It's not Royal Mail's fault either. They're incredibly busy. They've got a lot of parcels coming through each day. But I'm going to look at doing the drop and go to see if that reduces the cost at all. I've heard that it's slightly cheaper if you use drop and go. Um, so I'm going to look into that this weekend and hopefully I can get the postage back down. But yeah, so I hope nobody minds. I'm really, really sorry. I can send second class, but I just, I've found, I don't know. When I order yarn, I want it as quickly as I can possibly get it. And I don't want to have to wait second class because sometimes it does take up to sort of five days. But maybe it's an option I can look into. But yeah, so I hope nobody minds. Anyway, that's enough of that out of the way. I'm getting on with tea. We are going to have... Um, if any of you shop at Aldi's, you'll know they've started the uh, McDonald's range. They do the hash browns and the chicken nuggets. They are absolutely just like McDonald's. So we're going to have some of them tonight. I just like my t-shirt. My favourite t-shirt ever. <laughs> um, so we're going to have them tonight. And I don't know what else we're doing yet. I'm just going to sit and knit. I picked up the Salem sweater about half an hour ago. So I'm going to sit and work on that as well tonight. Excuse them in the background. I'm talking louder to cover the noise that they're making. What can you do? It's FIFA. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to sit and work some more on that. And so I'm just stroking the cat. You can just see my hand doing that till he's sat right here. And I'm going to have a nice relaxed night. Aren't we, Tilly? Yes. So I'll see you in a bit. Guys, <laughs> so it's football day, can't you? <laughs> He's been nowhere around today. <laughs> so I did. Get the weekend off. You enjoyed your day. There's not wrong with that. Yeah, I got a, just you know minuscule football day today, and tomorrow big day. So yeah, lots to, lots to teach me. Yeah, that's how my football. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, real footballs tomorrow. Which I can't wait for. He's waiting for his tea, aren't you? Hmm? You waiting for your tea? I am, yeah, because I'm not cooking. <laughs> See, when I cook, it's just like boring meals. When you cook, you do extravagance. I'm a feeder. Yeah, you do feed. I like it, like, if I'm doing, if I'm cooking, I like to cook for everyone. You know that kind of you thing. You do do that. Yeah, I do prefer to do that. When we first met, you used to pile my plate up huge. It used to feel I'll hold it like that. I used to feel really guilty if I couldn't eat it. Whereas now you know not to put too much on <laughs> Couple of spoons. <laughs> Teaspoons. <laughs> kiddie portions, as we call it. There's nothing wrong with a kiddie portion. I've got McDonald's and eat a uh, kid's happy meal. I'm not bothered. See? <laughs> Standard. <laughs> right, we're going to go get on with this tea. It's nearly ready. Um, and again, thank you very much for the lovely comments. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> um, if you don't see me on this vlog tomorrow, you'll see me tomorrow. But uh, it's been lovely to see you all. It's now half what? past seven and I'm now going to sit down and relax. I've had a bath. I'm freezing cold so I've got my big dressing gown on. It's got a hood on it. Because uh, you need to see the hood. There you go, look, just in case you needed to see the hood. Um, Yeah, Danny's wearing shorts. He don't ever get cold. So, me and the pooch are going to sit down. I've got my Salem sweater in my Diane bag. Yay! So we'll do some more of that and relax. So I hope you've all enjoyed day 23 and I'll see you tomorrow for day 24. Bye. Bye, Ruby. Bye. That's my leg. There you go. Say bye-bye.